So we're going to be setting up this Maker Base MKS DLC32 board. It's uh, it's a Gerbil based board, and we're going to be connecting it to our network so we can talk to it and stream stuff. So let's take a look at it here. Oh, whoops. Let's go here. Okay, so it's got an ESP32, uh, then stepper driver connectors for your XYZ, and end stops, laser connection, all sorts of stuff, right? It's, it's pretty well laid out. I'm pretty happy with it here. And we're going to be hooking up power and USB to get this working. Oh, I'll also be putting in the SD card, and we'll be putting something on that. All right, so I put the SD card in, right? And let's open up Laser Gerbil here. So let's go to our desktop. Oh, yeah, you can find these on AliExpress for 15 bucks free shipping. They don't take too long to come in. They took about two weeks for me. So I'm going to hook this up. Okay. And let's look at Gerbil here. Okay, so here's Gerbil. Let's... Uh, Let's go to our right comm. So comm 13 is the one I'm on, and I'll hit connect. Okay. Doesn't talk to me. That's weird. Whatever. I'm going to hit money. Oh. Okay. Still not talking. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Took a little while to start talking. Okay. Lots of settings in here. And I go over this in a different video, all these settings. But... Because it's an ESP32, there's lots of ways to access things. So what I'm going to do is type in money, uh, STA, okay? That's going to give me a couple pass or a couple piece of info here. So I can also type in money, AP. There we go. So that's the current access point. So if I wanted to just use my Wi-Fi and log into this, I could find MKS underscore DLC with like my phone or my tablet. The password is 12345678 by default. I can actually change it here. I can type in like money ap slash oh whoops. money ap slash password equals and I can change it to whatever I want. Like gerbil1234 or if I have a custom password, I can change it. But right now I'm going to try to get it connected to our network. Okay? So there's a couple things we got to look at. So first of all, money STA. Okay. So we need to change our SSID. Okay. So money STA slash SSID. Now I'm at a maker space. So we're, let's see. So capital S N zero C zero or not C zero C O capital M A K E R S. Okay. That's our SSID, and I can press up to pull the last thing I typed in. And our password, I'll tell the world our password here <laughs> for the makerspace, equals 5N0C0444. All right. Hit that. Okay, so I told it our, our, uh, our network name. I told it our password. And just to make sure, I'm going to type in money, STA, enter, cool. Okay, save the Snowco Makers. I'm sure it saved the password. Okay, we're on DHCP. That's good. So next thing I need to do is change the radio. So this thing can, op can operate in a few different modes. So it can do AP. It can do STA, which is where it connects to a station, right, where it's on an access point. Right now it's an access point where I can log into it. What I want to do is connect it to my Wi-Fi, so I'll connect it to a Wi-Fi station. I can also make it Bluetooth, but yeah, that's uh, I can serial stuff from like my phone or my computer. But let's see, let's do money radio slash mode equals STA. Enter. All right, I like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'll disconnect. Okay, I'm going to unplug my uh, board. I'll plug it back in. And then it should take a little bit. Okay, so open this back up. Go back to the COM13. Okay, it might not connect immediately. Oh, it connected. Okay, 
Let's see if we're on here. So I'm going to type in money. Hit enter. Nothing yet. Okay, still booting. Still connecting to our Wi-Fi. So we'll wait. Money. There it goes. All right. So let's type in money I. Money I for money info. All right. So it says we're connected. Okay. But we need that IP address. There it is. 192.168.40.163. So I'm going to open up my uh, my internet here. Okay. 192.168.40.163. Enter. All right, and here it is. So now we're connected. We're online. Okay. Let's see. So up top, we have some basic controls here. All right, speed, distance. So if I want to move it left and right, this is a Z. Okay, this is where we are currently. Okay, a couple commands here. And then we have our... Uh, our screen of settings so I can type in just like laser gribble, right? Money, money, enter, and it will return all this stuff, all the info. Okay. Let's scroll down a little. Oh, doesn't scroll down further on this one. Oh, that's right. Everything's up here in this little menu. There we go. SD file. All right. So let's upload a file to this. Let's, uh, let's refresh. Actually, look at it. Nothing on there. Okay. Let's upload. And I have a draft that I made a little bit ago. Upload that. Okay, it's uploading. Cool. Now I can select this, and I can hit play here. I'll show you this, just how this works, okay? So I can either play the draft from here, right? I can hit play, and I've got a stream of info over here, right? And I see this little X moving, or the plus moving around, right? Okay, let's stop that. Oh, I guess we'll actually abort the job. Yes, we want to abort it. Resume. Let it dump out the... There we go. And let's head back home. Okay, we can see this heading back home. The little plus. <laughs> I haven't set anything up, so it's really slow. That's okay. So now we can go back to the our server here. Once this gets back down here. Okay. So we did a restart, right? Heads back to home. Told it to jog to X0, Y0. Oh, I guess at a feed rate of 500. Yikes. Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> you had the slider set to 500. It'd probably be faster if I brought this up. Anyways, so here I am on the web server. I just uploaded the, that same file to this. And now I hit play here. And I can see it's going to start moving around over here, right? So it's changing position, moving around. Okay. Oh. Select this. Hit play. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's still going. Let's see. Oh, there it is. There's a bar. Okay. So it's 3.82%. Okay. And it doesn't show anything over here on the side. But I can see my little crosshair moving. So it it detects that it's moving. It's just not uh not streaming on this, and it goes between busy and not busy, right? So, anyways, that's how you connect this to Wi-Fi, upload something to the SD card, uh, fresh from the box. I uh, hope that helps you. If you want me to do a bigger setup on this or any other details, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.